So shall we welcome Maria Jose of South Africa from FIU? Welcome. I know we told you to pack away your cell phones, but for this, I need you to take them out. Go on, take out your cell phones, hold them up. Look around the room, and what do you see? Do you see cell phones that have cracks on them because we've dropped them a few times? Do you see cell phones that have cell phone covers to protect them? That is what we do. We protect what we value. This morning, I'm going to tell you how we can value Africa's future doctors. After all, our doctors are the ones who help us when we are scared, when we're in pain. They deliver our babies. Africa has approximately 146 medical schools, graduating 40,000 medical doctors a year and yet they remain a scarce resource on our continent. The World Health Organization has even found that there are nine of the sustainable development goals that rely on a steady supply of trained healthcare workers. They should be a priority because they show a great return on investment. But training doctors requires resources especially technology. Go ahead, take out your cell phones again. Go to Google. Please, I'll wait for you. <laughs> Look up the word headache. How many results did Google give you today? When I did this, I got 161 million results. That is how much information you have available to you at the tips of your fingers. But Googling on a cell phone? That's not good enough for a doctor. A doctor needs to have a laptop to access evidence-based medicine. But many doctors on our continent do not have access to this technology. In 2017, I met a medical student named Benele. He's very motivated, but he didn't have a laptop. He couldn't access online medical textbooks or even his lecture slides. He was at an academic disadvantage. And I thought to myself, there must be a way to connect Benele with laptop donors. So as a medical doctor myself, I leveraged my connections. I reached out to colleagues and alumni at the University of Cape Town and together we created a device drive where we collect donated laptops and disseminate these to medical students in need. In two years, we have distributed 16 laptops. That's 16 communities that we have helped by investing in their future doctors. And the beauty of this, you don't have to wait until they graduate to see the impact that these students make in their communities. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Benele in the left side of the picture. He and his fellow classmate are working on an app that teaches sign language to medical students so that they can better communicate with their deaf patients. Through his example, Benele is showing servant leadership in action. He is investing in those around him and sharing his power. But no matter which sector of society you work in, you can join our movement. Are you in civil society? How do you champion the rights of doctors to work in well-equipped facilities? Are you in the private sector? Can you create products and services that cater to the unique needs of medical students for affordable technology? Are you in the public sector? How are you prioritizing policy for the training and the research uh, that goes into uh, creating our medical students and our doctors? Ladies and gentlemen, Benele and I, 
We are merely trying to be the change that we want to see in this world. A world where we do not value our cell phones more than our doctors, but we value people by providing them with the technology they need to do their best work. Join us. Be part of this movement. Our combined efforts can value Africa's future doctors today. That was good. Thank you, Maria and Benele, for investing in those around us. Um